Oh snap, Blaze is going live. Just got my copy of Beyond Lucky by Brian Glaze Gibbs. Thank you so much for sending me my personalized autographed copy. I've had the pleasure of knowing you for a long time, so I'm really excited to get to know some of your stories and what made you you and how this redemption came about. I know you're a changed man, and I'm looking forward to seeing the whole process of how it happened. Thank you. Hey, good day, good day, good day, everybody. How y'all doing, man? How y'all doing? Listen, thank you for joining me. Just in case you're joining me for the very first time, I am your host, the one they call Brian Glaze Gibbs. This is my ministry. This is my platform. What I do is I talk about the good. I talk about the bad. I talk about the ugly. I talk about the past. I talk about the present. I talk about the future. You know what? The objective is how do I utilize my past experience, you know what I'm saying, my transgression, to get these kids to understand that I used to be that test dummy, they don't have to be like me, you got to be better than me, you got to be better than all these other idiots like me that went out there and picked up the brick throw at their prison wall for absolutely nothing, because once again, there's no shortcut in life, and crime doesn't pay, and keep in mind, everybody cannot be doctors, lawyers, politicians, the president, the vice president, bankers, Everybody can't be stick-up kids, killers, you know, drug dealers, hustlers. Right now, is guess what? We are all child of God. We are all destined to do great things, but it's up to us to pull it out of us. Hey, hit the like button, subscribe, share. Today, what I'm going to talk about is this. The Bishop, Bishop Whitehead from Brooklyn, right now is the Bishop he came to recognition to me because I saw something, you know, what, months ago when he was robbed doing a service in his congregation in Brooklyn. How these young cats came up in there, laid him down, robbed him for his jewelry. It was big news. And right now he saw, listen to who the heck is Bishop Whitehead, this flamboyant bishop. Every time you look around, driving around in all these fancy cars, dressing all nice. But once again, like I said right now, is to me, I don't know that, man. I'm not here to judge. But only thing I know is this. The bishop right now is challenge. You know what I'm saying? Uncle Murder. Challenge. He telling 50, listen, man. Right now, put your money where your mouth at. Put me, Uncle Murder, in the ring. I put up my money, you put the money for Uncle Murder. And let's see what happened. So once again, like you say, the bishop? You know, what's going on here? Why would a bishop want to get in a ring with a rapper? What part of the game is that? Like you say, you love Jesus. You love the Lord. So once again, right now, why you want to put your hand on this rapper based upon words, based upon he was talking trash and what he called Uncle Murder, you know what I'm saying, rap up 2022. Every year he do a rap up and speak about different events that happened during that year. So just so happened what he did this year, he mentioned you. And this is what he say. And I'm not a rapper. But this is what he say. Man, niggas ran up in the church like it's a sticker. It was only eight people in there when they robbed the bishop. When I first heard about it, I bust out laughing. God don't like ugly. That's why he let that shit happen. He was out here scamming people in the name of God. Feds came in and locked him up. I know he was a fraud. He be dressing like a rapper. That shit ain't even funny. He be buying Louis and Gucci with those people money. Wow. Damn. So automatically, don't get me wrong. Like I say, sticks and stone may break my bones, but words would never hurt me. But yet and still regards what? Those are some choice words. And like you say right now, what'd you say about Bobby? What'd you, you know, what'd you say about uncle? What'd you say about uncle murder? Even though you threw me under the bus in your song, Rapper 2020, You Are Still My Brother. I remember when you came into my poopette and spoke highly of me. So the difference is right now, which one is it? Is it, you have to say, which one is it? Either you're talking trash about him, but then again, why would you go to his poopette? Why would you go to his poopette 
and speak highly about this individual if that's not the way you feel. You know, so what we have to do is start being, saying what we mean and mean what we say. Stop being a hypocrite. If you knew or you felt or you thought this guy was a fraud, why are you going in this church, coming on his pulpit and speaking highly of him? And then you turn around, and I'm saying right now, what, months later and talking trash about him? That's why the pastor, you know what the pastor's saying, the bishop's saying? The bishop said, get in the ring. Because if you get in the ring, he will skip, dip, and bust your lip, Uncle Bert. That's what the bishop's saying. This man of God is saying, listen, later for the nonsense, but we can keep it fun. We can keep it real, but we can keep it fun. We ain't talking about no gun. You right now mad enough to talk trash about me. Be mad enough to step in the ring with me. You know what I'm saying? And not only that, he asking your boss. He asking 50 Cent, put the money up. Put your money where your mouth at. And let me in. Watch me. This cat from Brooklyn. Okay? Skip, dip, and bust Uncle Murder lip. Wow. And like I told you right now, folks, listen, man, what you have to do is right now, you got to be mindful, you got to be respectful, and you got to stay pray up. But once again, like, you know, Pat, you know, Bishop Whitehead, been under a lot of pressure. And like I say, we've seen it. Because that's the first thing that came to my mind when somebody sent me the clip of him being stick up, and everybody thought it was a setup, it was a fraud, until they arrested the guys. But then again, months later, what happened is they seen people, like, you know what I'm saying, his congregation, Press charges against him. Say he swindled them out of them. Say they retired money. So once again, are you a man of God or are you a fraud? I don't know. I'm saying right now is I got. I, I'm not here to judge. I don't know. So once again, like I said right now is listen, man. Here it is: the Bishop Whitehead versus Uncle Murder. Like I said right now, hey, I probably want to see that. See what happened. You know, right now is you know have some fun with it. But once again, like I said right now, is listen, listen to what Uncle Murder had to say in his wrap-up 2022. You know, what he say to cause the bishop want to get in the ring with him. He said, man, niggas ran up into church like it's a stick-up. It was only eight people in there when they robbed the bishop. When I first heard about it, I bust out laughing. God don't like ugly. That's why he let this shit happen. He was out here scamming people in the name of God. Feds came and locked him up. I knew he was a fraud. He be dressing like rapper. That shit ain't funny. He be buying Louis and Gucci with those people money. Wow. So like I said right now, hoodies, man, listen, man. You know what? Hey, Uncle Murder, man, I be careful, man, with these words, man. Words, man. We all know the way I came up, six and stone may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. But right now, is guess what? You probably ruffle the pastor feather, the bishop feather. And like I said, I don't know, man. This man's saying right now he want to get in the ring with you. So once again, we don't know what might happen. But then again, you know what? And even being a man of God, what I like is he didn't say right now I'm coming at you with guns. That's what I'm saying. Put the guns aside. Put the gun alone. Let's make this fun. Let's get in the ring. Let's use our knuckle. Let's use our knuckle game. Let's see who got a better knuckle game. He's I already know you're a better rapper. You say you want, I want to dress. What you say right now is... You know, what you, what you say about him? You know what I'm saying? He be dressing like a rapper. That shit ain't funny. He be buying Louis and Gucci with other people money. So he be dressing like a rapper. But he's saying right now, he know you a rapper. He only dressed like a rapper. But he guarantee you, if you get in the ring, right now is he will skip, dip, and bust your lip. So right now is, guess what? Let's see who is about about it, man. So listen, man. Hit that like button. Subscribe, share. And like I tell you right now, what I like is, you know, hey, you can put a positive spin on it. Because once again, he ain't coming at Uncle Murder and like, yo, man, when I see you, it's on. You know what? I'm going to blast you. I'm going to get my jammy. Nah, man. He said, let's have fun with it, man. And that's what he doing. He having fun with it. Hey, hit the like button. Subscribe, share. Peace, love, and prosperity.